tell me about 2019. What can we expect? Uh, 2019, you're going to see a rebuilt uh, a Rattler team. You know, we've done a lot of work in the weight room and, uh, and um, on the field, running and getting us ready conditioning-wise. Put a lot of good weight on. Um, we also went back to work on our character building and tried to build the athlete from the inside out. Uh, you know, we've always thought the, the more you build the athlete, uh, athlete's heart and, and mind and soul, the better that athlete's going to be. So we're hoping that that's going to help us quite a bit. Nice. And uh, if you could, well, first let me ask you this. Are, are you still going to have the... Uh... Oh, yeah, that won't change. That's a tradition that we have. <laughs> We've had them for seven years. There's 60 character traits on the back. And... Um, on the back of our jerseys, anything from character to passion to steadfast to uh, just all kinds of traits that kids should live by and, and think about. And we, we study those all the time. So, yeah, they'll be on the back. We'll, we'll, we won't go away from that unless the UIL tells us we have to. Yeah, and it doesn't sound like they're going to anytime. Not anytime soon. I think we have an understanding. <laughs> nice. Uh, so if you could, pull out some names of some of the kids we should pay attention to. Well, you know, on the... Um, on the offensive side, we have Takai Magid, who's our outside receiver. He'll play all over the place. Um, he's really, really sound athlete. Air Force is interested in him. And he's just a great kid. And then um, also our quarterback's back, Alex Garcia, uh, who's done a great job managing our offense for us, gotten stronger, uh, a little bit faster, and throw the ball uh, really well. And then we've got Diego Cruz, who's our inside receiver, that's going to be uh, kind of our little spark plug. He's going to get in there and do some things that are really, uh, really special because he can make some moves in the – in the um, open field. Defensively, we've got our secondary back that's had significant playing time. So we've got Cannon Webb back at safety that's a, uh, just a coach's son. Uh, he's our baseball coach's son, and he does a great job of uh, being a coach out on the field. Uh, we've got Alonzo, uh, Andreas Alonzo out at the other safety. that He's our, he's our, he's our firecracker on defense. He can, he can play him anywhere, and he'll, ch he'll hit you right in the face. And we've got two corners that are really good. We've got one that's a kind of a technique guy and then one that's just an athlete so we've got some guys back we got six on offense six on defense uh, that know how to play football and um, I think we're going to uh, turn some heads you know there's there's four spots to get in the playoffs you don't have to beat the top three guys but you gotta you gotta be able to play with those bottom guys and and scratch and, and do whatever you got to do to get that fourth or third spot and that's what we intend to do Hey, did you know that Lone Star Gridiron does mini helmets? Yeah, custom designed mini helmets that match your school. When quality and attention to detail are important, choose authentic Lone Star Gridiron mini helmets. Our library currently has hundreds of different Texas high school football teams. If you don't see your helmet, reach out to us about creating one. And hey, they make the coolest fundraisers for your booster clubs. Go to LoneStarGridiron.com and look for mini helmets on the top menu bar. Talk to me about the district. What do you expect? Well, you, we coined it the little SEC, and it, it matches up. I mean, it's a tough district. Every Friday night, you're tested. It doesn't matter who it is. Um, whether Even even if their, their season isn't rolling the way it want, you want it to, it's still a test. Uh, you know, when San Marcos walks on the field, we're not always the biggest, fastest, and strongest, but we will play you till the last play, and that's what's important for our kids. So how do you see the district shaping up? Um, you know, I'm sure, uh, like everybody, Judson's going to, you know, come back or reload it and, and ready to go. Smithson Valley, you can never count out their coaching and the, how hard they play. Um, Steel, you, you never count those guys out just because of their tradition and their winning and, and understanding that when they walk on the field, they can win any game. But really, it's on down the line. You look at New Braunfels, and they play hard, and they were scratching and sniffing for the third and fourth spot uh, as far as up his second spot last year. So we've got a lot of great coaches, a lot of great kids in our district, and it, it's always fun to watch and see how it plays out. Who's maybe a sleeper that somebody, we need to pay attention to outside of the district? Outside of our district? You know, you, you, you always you always need to look at some of those Central Texas teams. There's some really good ones out there. Um, Vandergriff, I think, is always a sleeper. I was talking to Coach uh, last night, and um, he's got some guys that, that he feels really, really good at, uh, that, that they've really had a great offseason. You know, and that's the great thing about Texas football. Offseason can change everything. And uh, with the way the UILs let us work out our kids all summer long, it will change everything. So look for some big te some teams that maybe were um, – Average last year, not to be so average this year. Well, good luck 
luck on the season, Ken. Hey, I appreciate you and everything you do. Thank you very much. LoneStarGridiron.com. Access the complete history of Texas high school football, over 100 years of information, win-loss records, coaching histories, individual stats, records, and more. Lone Star Gridiron, the authority on Texas high school football.